How do I not make a video about this? Call of Duty is trying to get global domination on gaming. They made DMZ, which is competition to escape from Tarkov. They have Warzone, which has been a dominating battle royale. Now they made Warzone Cup, which is probably, I'm assuming, haven't played it yet. The exact fucking copy of Rocket League, which I said probably not that many streams ago that was the most unique game ever created. This is insanity. Warzone 1 left a truly sour taste in my mouth, and I don't know if it was all the hackers in the last stage of the game, or if the overpowered aimbot on the controller ruined it for me. Either way, I stopped playing the game for a long period of time, and I didn't miss it. With the announcement of Warzone 2, I was skeptical, and I kept asking myself, are they just rebranding the same shitty product like Call of Duty has always done, or will they bring something refreshing to the scene? The truth is, they would have to do a lot more than just rebranding it to get me to play it, and I gotta say, they delivered. For a free product, the game is amazing. From DMZ and the impossible no, to achieve no, task, to the five consecutive wins and Warzone giving you a new contract, they kept the entire BR genre alive and kicking. It's refreshing, but it's not even the tip of the iceberg. Of course, with the added proximity chat, which has been executed with perfection, global chat and the possibility of inviting enemy players to your team to double the squad size, it's absolutely nothing short of fun and engaging. Of course, it has its drawbacks. DMZ game mode seems to be catered towards uh, team play, which with randoms most of times proves difficult, which makes some of the quests impossible to do. I think DMZ quests should be rebalanced to the point where they are doable alone, but also have some team playing in mind. It's a difficult task to do, but I think it's possible. For instance, why have five UE towers up at once when you can have four? All you have to do is get a couple of masks, a heli, wait for the smoke to get larger, and bam, you're zooming around the map with zero danger looming around the corner and doing the mission solo. But that's just one example, of course, it's not always that easy. I have been playing DMZ a lot, and I think it's a great competitor to escape from Tarkov. And the addition of Building 21, it was nothing short of fun. I hope they keep expanding on that, and I also wouldn't mind if they eventually paywall it, because it, honestly, it's good content, but we need players, otherwise it loses its value. Oh, and the leveling of weapon was made significantly easier with the introduction of DMZ. I was actually done relatively fast with all the weapons because no matter how garbage the weapon is, the bots are significantly easier to farm than people. Warzone 2 with the new map is also great. I love that the game was sped up a bit, the flow of the game seems a lot faster than it usually was, and when I play it, I feel like it's something is consistently happening on the map, especially in duos and up. The meta is garbage, but will change, with, so no worries there. I also didn't mind trying the third-person multiplayer, which is not fun for me, but I guess it has its place in the FPS genre. And I would also love to try the raids, so we'll see if I'll make a purchase in the near future. The battle pass leaves a lot to be desired, but the fact that you can pick and choose your rewards adds a bit of a twist to an old classic, and makes it so that you don't have to grind 100 battle tokens just to get your COD points back. I think they designed it well enough, though it seems like the rewards are otherwise lackluster. I would love to see a basic tracer pack for someone that finishes a premium battle pass, but I guess that would lower their income by a big margin. So it's in their best interest to leave that in the game shop. I also don't mind that they've tried to make a competitor to Rocket League. It is trash, but it has some potential, I guess. Which brings me to my final point. So they have a, they have a copy of Rogue Company, they have a copy of PUBG slash Apex, they have a... Mind you, a better copy of PUBG and Apex. Um, they have a copy of Rocket League, they have a copy of Escape from Tarkov. Because it's all in like encompassed in the same game. This is insanity, and it's like 30 gigabytes. Say what you want. I had problems with Activision and Warzone before, but they're really like they're putting a fing effort into this, man. All in all, I hope that they actually mean what they said about reducing the annual releases and focusing on the game as a service and bring Call of Duty as a whole to the earlier days of glory. I see a lot of negative reviews of the game, but I also see potential and refreshing quirks that give the game value. Coming from Counter-Strike and all the built-up resentment of Warzone 1, I am positively surprised by the release. I just hope they also put some focus on community feedback, because they're gonna fix a money glitch in a weekend, but will ignore players' battle cries for months. Oh, looting the train is so weird, man. I gotta fix that. Put some effort into that, and you have a winning product. No. Let's go! First person victory is six people! Let's go, baby!